With the introduction of Shibai Otsutsuki, I've been thinking about what Amato has explained in Boruto chapter 75, and I've come to this conclusion. Amato is trying to turn into an Otsutsuki. Yeah, I know it sounds crazy, but this could be the most insane theory the Boruto series has ever had, and it could possibly happen. Now, let me clear the air. The chances of it actually happening is probably this big, like extremely minuscule. It's another crack theory video, and I want you guys to take it with a grain of salt. Now, what made me say that Amato is trying to become an Otsutsuki, such as Shibai Otsutsuki, is that after I finished reading Boruto chapter 75, I went back and looked at Shibai's physical appearance and then immediately saw that he kind of shared a similar beard to Amato. A white beard for the chin, however there are differences between Shibai's beard and Amato's beard like stripes in between Shibai's beard and Amato's beard running to his sideburns. Of course this doesn't automatically confirm this theory by any means and is more of a coincidence than anything but seeing that Amato has a beard that was in close resemblance to Shibai made me look further into Amato's words and especially what he was trying to do with his daughter in the past. After seeing his daughter become sick with an unknown illness, Amato tried cloning his daughter into a new body in order to save her. However, after his daughter dying and after so many failed attempts of cloning, Amato understood that his daughter failed to exist. From that point on, Amato realizes that this was the domain of the gods, aka the land of gods, where our worlds of humans were just not meant to step into. With Otsutsuki's being prevalent in the storyline, they have the ability to use Shinjutsu techniques like karma for example. This allows them to cheat death over and over again, giving them an immortality boost, hence making them stronger every time an Otsutsuki consumes a chakra fruit. And unlike Otsutsukis, humans cannot cheat death, where they have flaws within their bodies such as physical limitations, illnesses, and can just die of old age. The domain of gods is a term that Amato refers to repeatedly in chapter 75, which is something that I think Amato is trying to take hold of for himself. Godly powers such as Shinjutsu like the karma, Ishiki's dojutsu, Code's claw marks, the Senrigan, and Divine Reflection are abilities that are all incredibly powerful and have some of the most broken abilities in the entire verse. Shinjutsu is defined more or less as a superior version of Ninjutsu, where it does not require the use of chakra or the use of weaving hand signs. And let me reiterate, Shinjutsu does not use chakra like how Ninjutsu does, as Amado sees that Ninjutsu fundamentally attempts to reproduce phenomena similar to Shinjutsu by weaving signs and concentrating one's chakra. The karma seal is a perfect example of this as when Kawaki was first introduced into the story, he masterfully displayed the use of the karma in battle while not knowing what chakra was or how it can be used. It was only until later in the story where Kawaki finally was able to use his chakra by using ninjutsu such as shadow clone jutsu and fire style jutsu. Anyway, going back to this theory, Shibai has gone karmic resurrection so many times that not only did he attain godhood, but he also ascended into a higher dimension. Amado had theorized this with Momoshiki confirmed this to be true. However, the most important part is that Shibai's body remained in the human world after ascending higher up, where Amato had Shibai's remains. From there, he transplanted Shibai's DNA into Ada and Damon, giving them their abilities. It also does seem like Code got his claw mark abilities from Shibai as well. Ada does confirm Amato's story, saying that he is telling the truth. However, Momoshiki does call a cap. Coming from a Shinjutsu expert, Momo says that Ada's love charm effect is not Shinjutsu, which raises the question of is Amato actually challenging? the truth or not. While the truth about his daughter is correct, having a love charm ability not be Shinjutsu does question where it does come from. Is it a scientific ninja tool like Boruto suggests since we know that Amato is capable of making crazy hacks abilities from ninja tools or did it come from somebody else? A guess I could make is that it came from another Otsutsuki since the ability is so broken who could be Shibai's partner. According to Amato in Boruto chapter 47, we know that Otsutsuki's move in pairs when invading planets. Shibai entered godhood by consuming chakra fruits and undergoing karmic resurrection for several millennia. However, for Shibai to get to that point, he would need another Otsutsuki to feed to the Ten Tails in order to harvest a chakra fruit, meaning that Shibai's partner would have to be fed over and over for Shibai to harvest and consume chakra fruits to update his genetics. The process also seemingly reversed with his partner, as Amato mentioned that Shibai repeatedly underwent karmic resurrection, which could mean that Shibai was also fed to the Ten Tails many times on different planets. Eventually, Shibai reached godhood from consuming so many chakra fruits. However, when he got to that point, what happened to his partner Otsutsuki? Did they reach godhood and discard their body as well? Were they killed off by another person or species? Did Shibai betray them in the end? We don't really know since Shibai has just been introduced into the story. Since Shibai and his partner consumed so many chakra fruits over several millennia, his partner should also have abilities that have evolved into
due to broken abilities, such as the Senringan and Divine Reflection. And what if their ability was the Love Charm effects? However, the Senringan and Divine Reflection is classified as Shinjutsu, unlike the Love Effect ability, as Momoshiki says the Love Effect ability is not Shinjutsu, but something else. So if this ability does come from another being, it could be from Shibai's dead Ozutsuki partner. Since Shibai discarded his body once entering Godhood, which Amato found, he probably found his partner's body where he transplanted the ability to Ada. However, if this is true, why wouldn't Momoshiki mention this? He states that he has observed the plane for a very long time, so he does know about Shibai, but he never mentions his partner. Does Momoshiki not know about his partner, or is that info yet to be revealed? I think what makes this so interesting is the fact that the story gives a pretense that initially, this is all Amato is trying to do, which is trying to revive his daughter into a new body. While this is true through his past being told, I just don't think this is his true goal. Sure, he cares about his daughter very much and tried endlessly to clone her 12 years ago, but we know that he transplanted Shibai's ability to Ada at least 16 years ago. Chapter 75 did confirm that Ada is about 16 years old. She can access past events leading up to her birth, or in better terms, her creation, which we know Amado modeled her, meaning that in the years that Amado's daughter was sick 12 years ago and when Ada was created 16 years ago, there was a 4 year gap for Amado to do whatever. Of course, it would be documented on Ada Senrengan, so she would know about it, but I do want to mention that when Ada verifies Amato's story, she says, at the very least, those events he told us about were all true. Notice how the word those is in bold, and Ada uses the phrase at the very least, implying that Ada knows something about Amato that hasn't been mentioned yet. This could mean that Ada and Amato might be working together to achieve another goal, or is just aligning herself with Amato. But at the end of the day, Amato did tell Ada that his real objective is with Kawaki's karma, which is necessary to achieve his real goal. As mentioned before, Amato says that he constructed Akabi's data inside of Kawaki's karma seal, and that he needs Kawaki to implant a karma onto a clone's body for Akabi to be revived. But I'm calling cap on this one. What if Amato put Shibai's data or Shibai's partner's data inside of Kawaki's karma instead? Amato had access to Shibai's DNA when he initially made Ada and Damon, so I imagine he still has that data of Shibai at hand. And when Kawaki implants a karma on a new clone's body, where the karma will eventually extract, allowing Akabi to revive. However, when looking at the rules of karma, wouldn't giving another karma to a vessel result in making a copy of yourself? AKA, would Kawaki give karma to a body just to have another version of himself? I know Akabi is supposed to be revived through it, but by having Kawaki as the host Otsutsuki, he's just making a copy of himself. How would Akabi be revived separately instead of having another Kawaki reviving through that karma? Are there special requirements for this body compared to your average vessel? It just feels incredibly off, as we've just never seen this kind of resurrection before, but knowing how Amado is known for tinkering shit with technology, anything can happen. This could be his daughter after all once Kawaki plants his karma seal since he was telling the truth and I do imagine that Amado is trying to get his daughter back but this may not be his true goal after all. Sure, we clearly see his past where he failed to replicate his dead daughter but the fact that he lied about Ada's love ability not being Shinjutsu and Momoshiki calling Cap, I feel like there is a lot more to learn about Amado's true motive. With him saying that living in a world of gods as a human is impossible, humanity must move on and try to upgrade themselves such as becoming like the Otsutsukis. From cyborgs to living gods, Boruto as a series has pushed this theme repeatedly where characters have expressed that living the shinobi way is just not possible in the future. You can't just train your way to become an Otsutsuki like powerhouse, which Ao literally states as he justifies why being a modified human and gaining Otsutsuki like powers is the future. This is because godlike characters such as Naruto and Sasuke exist, and when a godlike enemy such as the Ishiki roll around, your average shinobi is not going to be able to do anything about it. In fact, Naruto and Sasuke would not be able to do anything, especially against future Otsutsuki such as Shibai if he ever plays a role. In order to prevail over humanity, you must upgrade yourself, and with technological limitations existing within the world, you must rely on Shinjutsu such as Karma. That's why Amado may try to become an Otsutsuki or bring Shibai's physical body back in order to stay immortal and live a long time. Sure, he wants to bring his daughter back, but I think the story is giving the audience a pretense on what Amado's true goal is. It's possible that Amado can recreate Shibai's physical body or even his partner Otsutsuki since he has pieces of their DNA, transplant into Ada and Damon. This could mean that Amado could try to turn into an Otsutsuki by becoming Shibai's vessel or his partner's vessel which I could think is more likely since we don't know what happened to them and Shibai's soul has essentially ascended to a higher dimension. Boruto and Kawaki prior to becoming vessels were normal human beings but once they got their karmas they quickly had their DNA written into Otsutsukis where they now have a much longer lifespan. I see Amado trying to do the same becoming the vessel of either Otsutsuki or is possibly Shibai's partner. It's really hard to pinpoint which way Amado could go but at the end of the day I think he's trying to become an Otsutsuki. There's so many possibilities 
abilities with how devious Amado truly is. So let me know what you think about this video in the comment section below. Do you agree with this theory or do you think Amado is just trying to bring his daughter back? Let me know how you guys feel about that in the comment section below. So if you like this video, hit that like button, subscribe, hit the bell as well, and have a good day. Peace.